when drawing objects using tonal shading, it, um, the tonal shading demonstrates um, where an object is being affected by light and shadows. So if I use um, a simple circle shape, so this could be called, it's actually called a sphere, okay, because we're going to be creating our tonal shading on here. create a sphere shape but when drawing objects you need to work out first where your light source is coming from I'm going to suggest that mine is coming from this direction here so my light source is on my top left hand side so I'm not going to do any shading within this area at all. On the opposite side of where that light source hits is going to be your darkest tone. In the middle is going to be the mid-tones. I'm going to use a technique that actually I like to call scribbling. So it's basically, um, you're just going round and round in circles. Again, this is quite a dark pencil. This is a 10B, uh, 6B, sorry. Um, just to show you that you can see this on the screen. So I'm gonna start by adding in <coughs> my tones. So I'm pressing really, really lightly with this pencil. Just going around to fill in our sphere shape because we want to create a 2D form, make it look circular. I like using the shading technique because I find that the area that you're shading gets shaded a lot quicker. It's, it's, it's a quick technique to use. Right, now I'm pressing really, really lightly now with my pencil. Hardly any pressure on here whatsoever around where the light area hits my sphere. Then I'm then going to add medium pressure, remember mid-tones, around the mid-section of our sphere. mid sections in the middle mid middle okay well in this case it's middle try and make it look more circular okay now I'm adding more weight on my pencil, more pressure to create our darker tones. I'll take that up to the side slightly as well. Now this paper's got a gradient on it guys, it's, um, it's not, it's textured basically, so I am getting you can see the texture showing through. Okay, now I'm going to create the really dark tones around the bottom of our sphere. Pressing as hard as I can to achieve those darker tones. You may find as well that your fingers and your hands start to 
to ache a little bit and that is because of the pressure that you're using on your pencil to grip the pencil. If that happens, just take a break, drop your pencil, stretch your fingers out and then come back to it. And around the sides. Oh, sorry. Okay, so you can see already we've created our sphere shape in the form of a circle which is a sphere in 2D form. Now what I'm going to do, and if you don't have one of these blending tools, then you know just use your fingers. But I'm going to start to blend these into my sphere, so I'm not pressing very hard. So we blend the dark tones to the mid tones. Blending all these wonderful colours together. And mine's dark, as I say, because obviously I'm using a very dark shade pencil. I'm being careful not to touch that top section yet, because that's the lightest area of my sphere. Make sure you have a rubber to hand guys as well because you will need it shortly. Okay, so I'm blending all of our lovely tonal shades together to the final point at the top, which is our sphere, where the light hits. So remember guys, tonal shading in objects creates a 2D form. So I'm just going to get a rubber and just go over some of our lighter tones at the top, blend it through a little bit. There we go. So there is our sphere. So when using tonal shading on an object, it's to demonstrate where an object is affected by the light and shadows. So our light source has come from here. It's created our 2D form because we've now got our darkest tone and it gives you that oval circular effect. I'm not going to do, we could add some shadows onto the bottom here. So if it was sat on a table, for example, we could emphasize even more so obviously our darkest tones are going to be at the bottom of the ball where it's sat on a table. And again, I'm coming out very, very lightly because we want a kind of medium tone 
forgive the text that's in there now, my writing, but just to demonstrate where the darkest tone will be on our sphere. Right, so darkest areas are going to be right at the bottom here. Almost matching what you have in your sphere. Going round and round to create our shadow as if it were sat on a table or on the floor. Okay, and remember the reason I've done the shading from here is because our light source hits the ball here, so you're going to have a shadow coming down here. done and then obviously to give it the effect of being sat on a table or the floor you would just put some shading on the outside areas to reflect this Hatching it. Yeah. Add a little bit more to the shading. Okay, there you are, so we've got our sphere, the light source hits at the top, so we've got light to medium to dark tones, then we've tried to show that it's set on a floor or a table, um, you could improve this, I'm doing this for speed, so you would have the darkest tone at the bottom of your sphere here, then you come out lighter, that is how you show tonal shading in objects but remember you need to work out where your light source hits the object first before creating your tonal shading to then finish with your 2D form.